Hello everybody, and welcome back to my uh, Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, when we left off last time, we had just wiped out the Swarm Hive in Bendigo. Um, it's a few weeks after, later. Um, somebody commented on Reddit that you can assign fighters all easier by setting it up beforehand, so I'll show you that real quick. Uh, basically, if you just build a fighter straight up, uh, the construction will drop it into the task group that you set, right? Um, but it'll drop the fighter into empty space. It'll drop it into orbit, but it'll dro drop it into empty space, so it won't be docked. So that means you have to go in, assign it, squadron, dock it, yada, yada, yada. However, if you have, say... Where is it? There he is. Never mind the garbage truck. Uh, if you have a hangar-based ship that is set up to accept the fighters that you're constructing, and you construct the fighter into the task group that contains that ship, then it will automatically... Where is he? There he is. It will automatically be allocated and built into the hangar bay of that, sh of that ship. So it won't get allocated to squadron, but it will get allocated into the construct into the hangar bay and that of course is great because it means that you don't have to manually assign each and every fighter before it decides to blow up an engine or lose some critical vital component that it really needs to work so um i've started construction on a wing of tobruk 2s which have about 5,000 kilometers a second more on the tobruk ones so very nice um but yeah so um few weeks after and now we are at that stage um, at the moment we are also working on getting one of the bandicoot out um, and that will slowly work um, you'll notice that because the Sydney is con is able to be constructed off the bandicoot we have the little drop down here where we can select which one we want to build uh, we're still limited by uh, slipways though, so I'm going to have to add a new one just in case we want to... Eh, no, we're starting to run a bit low on, on geranium actually. Um, which is another point. Uh, geranium is going to... We're going to run into a bit of a geranium issue. Uh, we still have 15,000 on Luna, but we're not mining that at the moment. And we've got 36,000 on Mars, which we're also not mining. But we don't really have it anywhere else, right? So we've got this place. Um, I think we might have to start buying this mineral output and send it to Earth because it's got a 43k there. Uh, wolf is useless. Quar is useless. That, that one's almost out anyway. Uh, Schmaus. Okay, we got a fair amount of geranium on Schmaus, which is nice. Um, and they're producing a reasonable amount. Um, this one... Accessibility is starting to get a bit low, so maybe not... Haley's Comet will be okay. We'll grab the geranium from there. And this place is already sending us, but that's mainly for the Galasite. So, we will pretty soon need to expand to some other systems. Uh, ooh, Eris will be fantastic. That 2.8 million. That will be nice. Um, but um, I've also decided to get some more military academies because I'm starting to run out of uh, free captains. So, yeah. Uh, construction facilities, we're going to have to go with some automated mines. Um, let's go for another 100 and we'll give it 50%. So that'll start working once the military academy is done. Okay, so now we wait for Bandicoot to... Uh, so we can go and start uh, exploring those... Uh, uh, archaeological digs, uh, specifically the one in Cairns I'm really interested in, but Newcastle will have will have to start first, uh, because we have... Yeah, we've got two of them there, so we'll go and dig those up. We're not here for the anomalies, because the anomalies are largely worthless to us, uh, but in Cairns we're definitely going for the anomaly, we'll definitely set up a research outpost. Uh, how are we doing? So at the moment, we're working on getting the bandicoot out, and that will be done in 
April, so we've got about four, five months to go. That shouldn't be too long. Uh, Antonio Abetti is running out of fuel again. How is he doing? Where is he? There he is. Uh, jump survey in cans. Oh, he's only got a few left. It's fine. Uh, okay, so our combat fleet has, has returned home and they are now on overhaul. Okay, how are we doing? Projected usage for those mines is fine. That's good. Uh, we found the jump point in Cairns. Alright, there's the shore leave. <clears throat> Ground unit strength 12 is almost here, which is okay. Uh, we've almost got the 2.5 multiplier and the fire control speed rating. So once the speed rating is done for the fire control, um, um, we'll probably... Actually, do we have missile agility is 2,000 off? I think we're working on... Right, we want the range first. So once we have the speed rating and the range, we'll, we'll get our new fire controls up and running. Uh, overhauls are done. Ground unit strength is done. Good. Okay, there's Military Academy, so now we're working on the automated mines. Our second jump gate constructor is almost ready. Having a second one is going to, is going to come in really handy because we'll be able to uh, build along two different routes. Um, and at the moment, I mean, we're building... It's It takes, you know, even if two, two jumps... Um, takes about two years to build, plus transportation time. So it's long um, to get that done. So if we can build along two routes at the same time, that will make our life a lot easier. So max engine power mod is good. That'll make our missiles better. And fuel consumption we're starting work on now. Okay, Collins is done. There we go. All right, so shipyard, there he is. Detach him. And where we're going, we are going Adelaide, Brisbane, Parramatta, Bendigo. Right now. Um, which way do we want to go? So that's 14.6 and then, so we've got 5, 8, yeah, we're definitely going to punch through Adelaide, Brisbane, Parramatta and Bendigo, um, because we already have a jump gate to and from Adelaide, so we'll just go Adelaide, Brisbane, Parramatta, Bendigo. Is that where we want to go? Cairns and Newcastle. Cairns. Where's Cairns? Hold on. Okay, there's Cairns. And there's Newcastle. So we already have a jump gate uh, network to Newcastle. Where did we just... Okay, Bendigo is where... Yeah, so we are going to Bendigo. Okay. That's fine. So we go to... Adelaide where we have a gate, then we're going to Brisbane, build a gate, transit, then Adelaide, build a gate, transit, no we're not transited back to Adelaide, we are moving to Parramatta, build a gate, then transit and build one back to Brisbane, then we go to Bendigo, build a gate. 
transit and build one back. All right, that should do it. So that's going to take a couple of years. Um, so no rush there. Duraney when Koala is exhausted. So now the civilian operation, those 21 civilian mines will get moved elsewhere. So the question is, do we want to keep those? How's our wealth? Our wealth is fine. But we weren't buying from those 21, so mm, we'll see how we go. Yeah, they, they can take them where they want to go. Okay, keep going. Oh, Canberra 5 is out of... Canberra 5. Okay, so he's done 88% fuel. Okay, and he's in Cairns. Um, we don't necessarily want to explore through Cairns at the moment. Because we have a bit of a dead-end system here. Let's go through Wollongong. We can pick up some fuel while we're at Earth. So, back to Rocky. Sol. Refuel. Uh, then Melbourne. Hobart. Wollongong. And we'll go out this one. Right out. Uh, we've got the next fighter. Yep, that's fun. Okay. Grimsby 1 is has finished its task. Hang on. Okay, no, he's Enterprise class. Okay. Gravesy 1 has finished his task, and now we need to send them back for refueling. Refuel. Uh, he's only 10 months, he's got 4 years, it's fine. Where to next? We'll go via Parramatta. So... Refuel from Earth, then Adelaide, Brisbane, Parramatta, jump point two. Oh, actually, okay, no. Yep. Move along. Got a new officer. Let's end Commander John Flynn. Alright, so there's the fire control speed rating done. So now we need to get the range. Brandon Murphy. Okay, so he's doing it after the EM sensitivity. We'll move that up real quick. There we go. Uh, that's going to take a while. It's fine. We need the sensitivity anyway. Um, what about Science Lab? We need too much geranium for that. So Science Labs are on a moratorium at the moment. We're getting like one auto mine per turn as well. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. Sydney Prime should now be ready. Yep. Perfect. So it's a zero, it's a nice uh, environment. And civilians have already started, or civilian shipping has already started uh, moving workers across. So, we now have ourselves a colony in Sydney. 
Um, we can move the mines from Earth to Sydney once we're ready. Actually, I think we'll hit up Luna. You know what? We don't need auto mines. We can just use regular mines. So let's get 200 of those as well. Because they're cheaper and we have a lot of fully habitable worker population planets at the moment. Uh, I mean, Luna, right? We've got all the thorium and a bit of geranium on Mars. We've got a, some geranium we want to grind out. And on Sydney Prime, we have a lot of resources that we want to grind out. And we can use regular mines on all of these without um, having to worry about worker population. Because with a zero cost, we get 70% worker population. Um, or close enough to. Hmm. Well, I guess service industries goes up. Uh, but either way, we'll get a good amount of worker population that we can um, use for mines. Uh, we got 24 million out of 480. So I think it's about half a million per mine. Or is it half a million per 10 mines? I don't know. But either way, it's a tiny amount. It's a tiny amount of workers for a lot of regular mines. So we've got, you know, 480 of them. So let's keep going. Bandicoot's at 84%. We'll be able to bring a construction brigade and a um, full group of troops with us as well. Which will be great. All right, missile agility is done. Uh, since we're going to be boosting our point defense systems, let's get gauss rate of fire so with gauss cannons right um getting levels in velocity is kind of pointless like one or two levels is fine but um at if, if you're going to be using final fire it's 10,000 kilometers only most of the time your point defense cannons are not going to be like you, you need a lot of tech to get gauss cannons any kind of decent range and there's you know if your formations are within 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 kilometers of each other, then you might as well just have them in the same task group anyway, for the most part. But anyway, um, so velocity is mostly um, worthless unless you're using them for specific setups. So velocity you can basically ignore. Um, and I found that out after I got these texts. So, yeah. But uh, rate of fire, rate of fire is, is very, very useful because rate of fire increases the amount of projectile that each Gauss cannon fires. So that, you know, exponentially increases Gauss, um, Gauss walls. So uh, very, very handy there. Okay. How's the tech going? Next tech will, should be our armor tech. That'll be awesome. But Bandicoot is almost done. And there we go. All right. We have ourselves a troop transport. Okay. Detach. All right. Who are we going to bring? So we're definitely bringing the 33rd Construction Brigade. And we will also bring 6th Mobile. Seventh and eighth garrison. And um Yeah, let's bring the 5th and the 4th mo uh, mobile as well. Oh no, it's fine. 
So, uh, 6th and 5th Mobile and 7th and 8th Garrison, as well as the 33rd Construction Brigade. That will be sufficient. We'll bring 34th Brigade Headquarters as well. Uh, and we'll reorganize the ground units there as well a bit. Um, that should be all of them. So, we'll wait for them to finish loading. It's going to take a while, but that's all right. Um, uh, yep, there we go. Finished. So, it took them about three days. Uh, but they are now fully loaded. And... Yep, that's all 10. Perfect. So, where are we going first? We are going to Cairns, I believe. That one has the two of them. No, that one just got the one. We want to get this one out first, because this one... Actually, can we even get to Cairns? No, we can't get the Cairns yet. So, where are we going? Newcastle. Newcastle is... Yep, so we do have a route to Newcastle, so that's by Adelaide. So we shall go... Adelaide. Newcastle. And... Which one is it? It is... Oh, three and five. Right up. Okay, let's go to three and we will unload all ground units. While we're at it, we also need a Xeno team. So we will take biology and genetics, yes. 20% sensors, no. 5% construction, yet yeah, we'll take him. Um, does this guy even have anything? I don't know what he's got. We'll bring him. Uh, 10% census fire? Yeah, no, bring him. And... Lieutenant Commander Webin Siru. Yeah, bring him. Okay. We have ourselves a Xeno team. And normally I would never use this, but... I know exactly which one we're moving it to, and I don't want to redo the orders, so we will transfer them to Bandicoot. Let's double check that they're actually there. Hmm. Ah, yes, they are. Good. Okay, so unload ground units, and then drop off the team. Okay, command reassigned. Okay, we've got Assault Infantry Battalions as well, which is great. Let's make another one. Okay, keep going. All right, we got a refit of the George Ogden Abdel. Uh, where is he? There he is. So now that we have another Enterprise class, let's send them along his way. Uh, we will go via... Hmm... Let's go back Canberra. I'm not too excited about going through there, but it'll do. There's only one jump point anyway. So if we do run anything troublesome, at least it'll be close by. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that we do also need to do is we need to move our terraformer across, because at the moment it's just sitting in orbit around 
Sydney, wherever it was. So where do we want to go next in Sydney? A4, this one. So we are moving... We are moving from Sydney Prime to A4. So we grab our tug. We'll go to Sydney. Uh, which, one, which one's where? Um... Okay. All right, so we are going from four, or from prime, which it doesn't actually tell us which planet it is. Okay, we're still working on six. So we are going from five to four. Okay, got it. And four, five is parry one. So this is the one we want. And we're gonna move it to A4. Hold on. Okay, yeah, because Sydney Prime is A5, okay. So we're going, yeah, no, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, just get it done. <clears throat> okay, another fighter. Yeah, we found Albury. Out of Wollongong. That's fine. So that's working. Uh, Alright, we need to go back to Sydney and make sure that everything there is proper. So we've got Sydney Prime, which has none good. And we have both of them with Terraformers. Excellent. They're both inactive. Hmm. Looks like I forgot to turn on the uh, Terraforming. Oh, well. So Terraforming, point one, and add it and oxygen and 2.1 good so they'll finish at about the same time oh you know what it is i was removing the toxic chemicals from the atmosphere and i forgot to turn it off oh well oh i forgot to turn it back onto oxygen once it finished Okay. Still got plenty of duranium. We're almost out of macassium, but we have a very generous stockpile. Oh! Okay, Alice Springs is part of the nebula. Well, let's get the hell out of there. Actually, did I give him extra armor to break through? 
Yeah, I did. Okay. No, we can we can handle that. The sensors are going to be useless, but eight thirty three. We'll be doing about two and a half thousand, which is, I think, a little bit. S yeah, so it's not that much slower than a normal speed anyway. So. Woohoo! Oh damn. Okay. We have a massive swarm of hostiles. Oh, bugger. Go away. Right, how far out from the jump point are they? Okay, not very. Oh, forgot to turn on the sensors. All right, combat group, gear up. Bring extra Mel bring up bring the Melbourne classes because we need those. We're going to need those extra guns. Okay, how are we doing? We need to go to Kalgoorlie, which is out of Canberra. So Canberra, Canberra, Canberra transit Kalgoorlie move to refuel from own tankers. Do we have the Tobruk wing yet? Oh, to the, the Tobruk 2 wing yet? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, no, not yet. How far off is it? Half a fighter. That's going to be a few days. Well, Grimsby 2 is definitely dead. No way around that. It's already lost an engine. Yeah, it doesn't have a chance. Oh, I might have actually lost a sensor. Yeah, it's probably lost a sensor. Uh, how far off are we? Um, let's let's rename these. All right. So we got yeah. So your Jer Jermongo is the AWAX. We got destroyers. <coughs> um. No, uh, add a branch. Okay, now we need logistics. Jump tenders needs to go under that. And we have primary combat and support. Secondary combat. Okay. So, uh, on the support and secondary combat, we are adding early warning and AWACS, and Waramonga will be going under there. So, we add the ship into there. We will delete that and On the jump tenders, we will be adding press bar and marathon, which I still haven't actually upgraded into the 25k class. There's that uh, garbage truck again. Um, Uh, so moving the, the actual carriers um, out to uh, secondary combat. So we'll get rid of the carrier group there. 
Actually, jump tenders needs to be in logistics. So we'll add the press bar into there and there. We'll get rid of it there. Uh, destroy alpha. So we need to... Oh, okay. So we add that one, and 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 we put them under primary combat. There we go. Okay. Um, so rivers are actually point defense. So we don't not want we, these. We don't want these in destroyers. Melbourne under destroyers. So we'll add. So we'll add not this one. We'll add the Afghan and the Beagle, the Mastiff and Mongrel, the Pitbull and the Poodle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, you know what? Let's give a third one to Alpha. Add Puffin. Alright, so we do have point defense ships in these as well, so I think we will actually keep some point defense ships there. Um, how many point defense ships do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't necessarily need very many point defense in the missile destroyers because they have their own AMMs, um, which are reasonable. Um, so we'll keep those there. Uh, Sheehan's, Melbourne's, Warramonga, yes. So now we need fighter squadrons under the carrier group. No, put Puffin back. So, um, do we know which wing they're, they're a part of? Uh, we'll have to break them off and assign those later. Okay, so that is our... That is the Brotherhood of the Beard. So we will now add this entire branch and move it into First Fleet because that's where it bloody belongs. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if we can get where we need to go in time to catch them. How far out are we? 13 days. We might be able to make it. 1321, we are 1306, so we will have, in theory, approximately, um, about, approximately 15 hours of lifetime left to rescue Commander Philippe Blanc. Ah, excellent. Our uh, Xeno team is, is, has been dropped off in Newcastle. So, archaeological digs. This is it. Here we go. Uh, we shall add this one to the 34th. Uh, we will remove that one, that one, and that one. And we will add that one, that one, and that one. There we go. Uh, we'll also get Bandicoot to uh, head back and grab uh, another... set of construction brigades as well. 
14th and 15th should be fine. Adelaide, Newcastle. There we go. Three of them should be fine. We are eight days out. Uh, Grimsby one has finished bodies. Let's do a grab survey of Alice Springs now. And well, the destroyers are starting to run low on fuel, but that's fine. They'll refill when they get there. They are three days out. Hmm. You know, be good. We should get an interceptor fighter. Because at the moment, we've got bombers, but we don't actually have any interceptors. And it would be great to actually bring some interceptors against the swarm. So I think I might make a Tobruk 2i. Just as an as an interceptor type ship, so we'll get so I'll design I'll design that later though because we don't really need one right now. Okay, we are refueled. We will detach Marathon and we'll actually move. No, what we will do is we'll go through naval organization. So we will detach the jump tenders. There you go. Nice and easy. Next, we will go through the Kalgoorlie jump point using the thing as a tender. So we'll do a standard transit. All actives on. Uh, bloody hell, we didn't rearm the Sheans. Okay, I don't think we're going to be using the Sheans, so I'm going to break them off and get them to go back home. So, missile destroyer, branch, and branch. Uh, absorb it and send the transit back to Sydney. No, back to Seoul. I'm going to refuel and load ordnance. Do we even have ordnance on Earth? No, I don't. That's why. Okay, never mind. There is no point in doing any of that. We will just reabsorb these. Because the missiles they do have should hopefully be enough. I mean, they do have AMMs, and we can use those to shoot down fighters. Which is um, still acceptable. So we will go ahead and delete these as we don't need them. Okay. And transit. <laughs> 